People have been asking me why the title looks the way it does, and the reason the title looks the way it does is because of uh, this. This is a relatively minor story. I kind of wrote the title out in a, in a, in a fugue state when I saw it. Uh, was it... Jog my memory. Was it not North Carolina where some four or five, six years ago, there was a Supreme Court ruling that the Republican legislators had constructed a districting map that excluded black people, like gerrymandered out black people, with surgical precision. You know? That was North Carolina, not South. So they both got Carolina in the name. The voter ID law. That's it. Voter ID law. That was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the, the voter ID law thing, yeah. Basically, the Republican uh, legislators were like, we are going to specifically allow certain types of voter IDs for as a prerequisite for voting, disallow other ones, and then this was like, a, you know, a, a brought to court, and it was found like by the Supreme Court, you know, the Supreme Court looked at it and they were like, wow, you sure did Google what types of IDs are black people more likely to have. You know, like, you you are on the mark here. You are like you have done this as clearly as you could. Yeah, they like reinvented the grandfather clause in more words, basically. So I'm reminded of that because that's always, to my mind, been one of the most. Um, it was the North Carolina judge, not the Scottish judge. Oh, so the North Carolina Supreme Court, right? Supreme Court of North Carolina, a panel of three judges in North Carolina. It was it was it the North Carolina Supreme Court or was it a lower court or whatever? It's irrelevant to what I'm talking about right now. Okay, I I have I have a bad memory. You know this is known. Uh, anyway, Supreme Court back South Carolina South Carolina. We're in the South now. South Carolina Republicans in race based voting map fight. <sighs> The U.S. Supreme Court, that's the big boys, made it harder on Thursday to prove racial discrimination in electoral maps in a major ruling backing South Carolina Republicans who moved out 30,000 black residents when they redrew a congressional district. It was a 6-3 to three decision, you know along which lines people fell, reversing a lower court's ruling that the map had violated the rights of black voters under the 14th Amendment, which guarantees equal protection under the law. Alito wrote the decision, of course. I don't care. We're not reading it. I don't care. The liberal justices expressed alarm that the decision makes it more diff difficult for legal challengers, who in this case included the NAACP Civil Rights Group, the ACLU, and black voters, to demonstrate that an electoral map unconstitutionally discriminates based on race. So basically, for those of you who don't know, there's not actually any way to guarantee in a procedural sense that an electoral map is fair. Uh, you, you just kind of need to vibe it out. Seriously, like you, people say like, oh, we'll get a math program to decide what's fair. Yeah, but people aren't going to agree on it. In a practical sense, both, the job of both parties is this, okay? Um, to construct a, an electoral map which is biased in their favor, but only as much as they can get away with. If they put forward a map that is so biased that it gets revoked by the courts, then they couldn't get away with it. You know, that is how the game is played. And uh, obviously with the uh, conservative Supreme Court, it is an extremely skewed game. The issue here is that this is one of the main strategies that Republicans have at their disposal for winning elections that they shouldn't be winning. And the Supreme Court has basically given them the go-ahead, you know? The, it, with this, the Supreme Court is signaling, go ahead with your biased maps, we will back you. Like, your shenanigans, we will back you. Yeah, we, de we decree you to be racist, thank you. Gerrymandering involves the manipulation of geographical boundaries of electoral districts to marginalize a certain set of voters and increase the influence in others. In this case, the Republican-controlled state legislator was accused of racial gerrymandering to reduce the influence of black voters. What if we had proportional representation? Well, that doesn't really work. We're talking about, like, local districts, you know, for, for voting in different counties and the electoral. You can't just, you can't just uh, divide it all, you know, by the, by the number of districts. Several months ago, a federal court shot down a challenge to the GOP-drawn map in North Carolina. Cool. 
Court rejects claim challenging North Carolina map for diluting black vote. How many... <sighs> the Carolinas, man. Vosh, mute me for a week. Sorry, buddy, our mutes don't go that far. Uh, a ban it is. You have to look at Thomas's concurrence. He came out against Brown versus Board of Education. Clarence Thomas attacks Brown versus Board ruling amid 70th anniversary. Thank you, Clarence Thomas. You've lived such a long life. Isn't it time to rest? You look so tired, Clarence. Lay down. Clarence Thomas, a.k.a. Hitler too, issued a strong rebuke of the Brown vs. Board of Education ruling on Thursday, suggesting the court overreached its authority in the landmark decision that bans separating school children by race. Uh, Link, VCCTV? Also, Alito hung two separate separatist flags outside his house earlier. What flag? Don't, don't just link shit. What, what flags? I want a picture. No picture? Don't care. Wow. The court took a boundless view of equitable remedies in the Brown ruling, wrote Thomas. Okay. Second flag carried by Gen 6 writers displayed outside house owned by Justice Alito. Can I get a picture of it? Is it that hard to show the picture of the, like, this is an easy thing to show a picture of. This isn't like abstract or conceptual. This is a very clear, obvious, this one is a picture. Thank you. Wow, that's great. Right wing flag used by Trump supporters outside Holiday Home. That's awesome, you know? I love our definitely apolitical high priests who definitely aren't just political operatives for the party that appoints them. Clarence Thomas on... Cur Oh, wow, they really genuinely did just have a sitting Supreme Court Justice of the United States appearing in political propaganda for an explicitly right-wing org. That's cool. Um, th this is legal, I guess? That's okay. I mean, remember, guys, the entire point of the Supreme Court is that they're supposed to be apolitical. Like, there's a whole legal pretext for that. That's the whole point. You know, you like, otherwise you're not really doing the law properly. Remember that PragerU claims not to be political to retain their hack status, if I recall correctly? Okay. So, uh, that, okay. Okay. Sure. Want to watch it? No, actually. I, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know what, uh, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Again, it's not like anybody actually believes that the Supreme Court justices are politically neutral. It's that, imagine the optics of a local judge or like a circuit court judge doing Prager U videos and then remember that this is the Supreme Court. Remember guys, Ruth Bader Ginsburg got dragged for saying that Trump shouldn't be president. Yeah, yeah, like again, up until fairly recently, the idea of a justice being this overtly political um is uh w this this would have been like unthinkable, you know? And now it just I Clarence, you know what Clarence Thomas is doing? He's uh, mocking us. He's laughing at us. We know that he's a fascist who wants to overturn the U.S. government and install a right-wing dictatorship. He knows that, and he knows that we know that. Uh, you know, we're all involved. Haha. -ha. We, we all get it. We all get it. But, like, no one can stop him. It's not like there are any consequences for doing anything as a Supreme Court justice, so he can just do whatever he wants, you know? He can, uh, uh, you know, uh, issue a ruling that affirms a racially discriminatory electoral map while attacking Brown versus Board of Education. It doesn't matter. Like, I, I know some people are going to go for it. It doesn't matter that he's black. In what way does that in like affect anything about the the mathematics of his ruling on this, you know? There were a lot of people like, ah, oh, well, he wouldn't say that or do that because it's racist. Like, no, I don't, I don't believe that his race honestly has anything to do with his decision making. Thomas has always been viewed suspiciously, if not downright hated, by civil rights advocates for repackaging arguments once made by segregationists in the name of supporting broad beliefs about limited government action. He's just a jackass. I mean, he is, but he's also a, like, militant fascist operating from the highest level of power you could possibly achieve in a legal sense, you know? Uh, he, like, that none of this is accidental. He's been spent, he spent, like, his entire career, uh, you know, towing the line and pushing that line uh, further and further out on what he can do to further those goals. He's just doing it in the way, when we see this stuff, you know, when we see 
fascism today, we think of like lunatic lollycon Twitter posters or Nick Fuentes 14 year old, you know, groiper types or like uh, Matt Gates, you know, demonic 30 something weirdos or Donald Trump. We don't tend to think of people like Clarence Thomas because above all, court justices tend to be civil. That's like the aesthetic of the court, right? The issue with this, of course, is that, you know, not to invoke a historical parallel that you guys may or may not be familiar here with, but you heard about the Nazis? Some of the most militantly fascist people in the Weimar Republic, in Weimar Germany, were their judges. Uh, and there were multiple instances of their judges pardoning people of, uh, or essentially letting people off the hook for murder um, if the murder was conducted to defend the blood of the nation. Basically, you had brown shirts and fascists who were killing people, and the judges were like, well, they're killing people out of love for Germania. You know, like, not the Weimar Republic, mind you, which they hated, but, you know, the real Germany. And that was, of course, yeah. Uh, and, and I imagine they were very civil, too, because they had that, like, aristocratic fascist vibe. But they were fascists nonetheless. What year do you think we'd regress to if Thomas got a one-year dictatorship period? Um, uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, Vosh, um, <clears throat> what color do you think the sky would be if, um, <clears throat> if Donald Trump was, uh, four feet tall? <clears throat> what are you, what are you talking about, man? The country's falling apart. Get your act together. Pull your pants, pull your pants up. Take this seriously.